Hey guys, going to do an unboxing of sorts. It's been a while since I uh, purchased anything from uh, the Aquarium Co-op. So uh, I did go on and uh, order some things that I needed recently. So what's in here? A plant thank you card, Vienna Guppy decal sticker. Um, got uh, two live plants that are pogo stamen. Uh, Stellatus octopus. I've got one brine shrimp hatchery kit and one aquarium co-op brine shrimp eggs uh, at 100 grams. And the kit that I got, uh, actually it's not the Zis. Uh, if you go on and click on the Zis on the site, it's the most wonderful thing ever. Uh, but then if you click on the kit, it's $30 cheaper. It's the most wonderful thing ever. So uh, that's what I opted to do. Uh, some good information there. Awesome for sending that out. Always good to educate. And there's the Vienna Guppy decal sticker. Nice, pretty guppy. Um, the co-op doesn't ship fish, so it's just something to have, I guess. Uh, and I appreciate that. Very well packed here. Great job. Um, this is the uh, Pogo Stamen, and it's a uh, very nice specimen. Love the way it's packed. Glad they're using this kind of bags now. Uh, it's all about the weight, you know, while keeping things hydrated. Both of these are very nice plants. And I want to say they were, oh, seven, eight dollars. Uh, if that, great prices on them. Really impressed with the packing. Um, let's see what's next. All right, so this appears to be the hatchery kit itself. This is the one that utilizes the uh, two liter bottle and that attaches here and uh, it comes with actually with some eggs uh, but I am just in a couple of days going to have a few hundred axolotls, leucistic axolotls, and you can see one of the parents actually down in the uh, 33 long tank uh, that's sitting down, not on the floor, but a couple of feet off the floor there. And there are literally hundreds of eggs about to hatch. So, um, it's been many years, probably 30 years since I've hatched baby brown shrimp. I used to breed and sell angelfish and a few other fish, but mainly angelfish. And that was in Florida a long time ago. So uh, quite a bit of experience with uh, doing the, the brown shrimp hatching and um, things have come a long way as far as having the tools to do so. And I will put that box right over there in the chair so that the cats can uh, decide who's going to have that. Uh, there should be some tubing also here with this uh, kit. Uh, one to uh, provide some um, current and aeration. And I see that's where it sits right under the edge there. So yeah, there we go, the same. Uh, there's some salt and egg packets there. I think both are in the same. This is the tubing that's, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and do it here a little bit. And attach right there. And this is kind of just a product presentation. I'm sure there are probably dozens of this uh, already on YouTube, so I'm not going to use a lot of detail. I just kind of like to open things up and see that they fit. Anybody that knows me knows what a klutz I am. Yep, I love the Diet Dr. Pepper, but even more, I love the Diet Root Beer. But this is my backup, my go-to if I'm out of root beer. So there we go. And then, of course, that's going to go to the pump, um, and it will not have a whole lot of flow on it. And I know that I can put an air stone on this, too, if I like. So, yeah, that's a pretty simple setup, and uh, I'll definitely use the packs. I already have uh, a couple of cases of salt, more than I can ever use um, for brine shrimp eggs. 
this is uh, almost a year out. That one is over a year out, so always check your stuff and make sure. Sometimes things slip through, food and things, so you want to be careful. Expiration dates are not always that important. On something like that, um, they're probably not, but things that are perishable. Uh, and here's the instructions. I will go through and read those again. I had already read them online. So yeah, there we go. So that's the gist of it. And uh, I'm gonna get this bad boy hooked up and get it pumping. And I'll probably put it here on uh, either this desk or um, my main desk over there, the one that's always cluttered, or I've got another little desk uh, back in my office. So I'll set it up somewhere that it's easy to monitor and take a look at and uh, go from there. Thanks, guys. A little long here, a little wordy, but you know how I am. Appreciate y'all. Take care.